All right, so we're checking out the only game that's spelt like this. It's Wakolviak. In Willy Wonkovich, you play as a young red-headed girl whose family spent all their money on drugs and hookers. Now that the medieval mafia is out to break everyone's kneecaps, it's your job to open up a small shop and make money selling old bread and methamphetamine. I really don't know what else you sell. It looks like maybe apples and some other things. Dear daughter, we really screwed up with the mafia. Please help us. Yeah, I got it. Here is our young lass, Thicarella. So I guess the idea here is you have to uh, expand your shop and learn how to like make all kinds of goods and then rip people off and play the market and these butterflies that are just like looming just barely outside of my shop are gonna be really annoying. Maybe I'll just pan the camera. Damn it, they're still there. I want this shop to look like drug abusers are running it. So like nothing's going to be perpendicular to the walls or anything. It's basically gonna look like someone came in, rocked this place like a hurricane, took everything and left. Here we go, put one of those over there. Damn, there's all kinds of crap for you to unlock. You gotta be kidding me. You start with basically nothing. You got a table. Unfortunately, Boneless the cat passed away of his cancer recently. I got a lot of Fs in chat. So, here's the F for Wangleheimer. As I run around here in retrospect, it's probably better that you make your shop in the appropriate format so you can actually move around. No, Thickerella's hips are too wide. She can't get past the counter. That's fine. I'm, I think I can still reach all these. There we go. I just had to move it. She, she doesn't skip leg or arm day, so she picks up counters like it ain't no... Holy Jesus, that was the most powerful rooster a game has ever had. People smoking their pipes come in, start buying stuff. We could pick up this dude's bread right up in here as you... How many of these can you buy? All of them? Sure. I like to pretend that the people are coming in and like they want something very specific, but effectively we lie when we sell it to them. Like Bear Tish or whatever the name is over here is like, I would love some gluten-free bread. And we're like, yeah, there's some on the counter right over there. And the second she pays for it, we're like, yeah, just FYI, I hope you don't have any allergies. I'm all out of wood, Beartage. You're gonna have to move on, lady. Like the store's closed. Get the hell out, for real. You bargain basement Zelda, get your ass out of here. All right, you can buy pallets for thick money, but it allows you to store a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to put it like sideways though, so it looks like we just don't care. Hold on, right about like that. We're like a we're like a teenager that just refuses to clean their room. Hey, hey, you like sourdough? Fantastic. Oh man, this lady's got all the wood. I'm going to tell you, suspenders are in right now. Look at all these guys with their freaking sweet ass hardware and fashion sense and everything. I don't have any shirts for you, man. The shirt that you have on is fantastic. Why would you ever want to change it? Hey, Cornelis. You know what happened to the last person that stayed here after dark? That's what I thought. This lady always wants wood. I don't know what it is. She has some sort of wood addiction. Don't have enough space for a crafting station? Make your ass some. Luckily, as a beautiful and iron pumping domestic lady, we're able to use our crafting station to make a shirt. And I, I got paid for it. I don't know who the hell was paying me, but whatever. Oh yeah. It's friggin' hammer time. Let me tell you, the F shop is like in. People are coming in, they're buying out all of our stock and everything. Our, our debt's been paid, so we get to keep our kneecaps for one more week. Survive three random events. What the hell? What's considered a random event? No one's allowed to touch this crafting area but me anyway. There we go. Oh man, I'm grabbing this guy's wood all day. Oh damn, this friggin' cupboard is legit. I had no idea it was this size. I know, I know, that's what she said. Hold on. Oh, I can craft shoes now? Is that better than shirts or what? Are shoes harder to get or what the hell? Item upgraded. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just clicking on stuff at this point. <laughs> this the delivery system is faster than freaking Amazon over here. I can't believe it. Hold on, these guys want shoes. I'm gonna see if I can make some real quick. Oh damn, we trading in axes now. Lady, what are you doing behind my wardrobe over here? Get out from behind there, I swear to God. I need to buy security for this place. I'm gonna put down a jacked up rug, but I want it kind of sideways. About like that there. I'm gonna put a vase right over here so that people can trip all over it when they come inside. Oh crap, people can't get rid of Hold on, I gotta move this. Damn it, I wanted to put it right here. How about over here? There, now everyone can get to everything. It's interesting that the trash can is not medieval at all. It's straight, it's like straight up a trash can from like Home Depot. Okay, damn, appeal is amazing. We just made freaking stacks today. I'm just gonna put, I'm like, I'm going to create a room and just dedicate it to vases. <laughs> this is where people can go to practice floral arrangement. I need another random palette just laying around, perfect. God, this place looks like the friggin' thrift store of the ghetto. Like, anyone who comes in here would probably feel like they're about to get shot. People still love buying stuff here, though. I don't know why. Oh, potatoes? Potato seeds. Uh, 
Sure. Just a pile of freaking pallets everywhere. What is this lady gonna do with that axe? Normally she used to come in just looking for wood, but now she's, I, I don't know, maybe she wants to get her own wood. Her husband's not giving it to her, so she has to go out and get it herself. You know, the, to, she, she, to chop the wood. You know what I mean? Oh, damn, you can grow crops? Okay. I guess, I, I don't know, maybe we don't have a roof. I can never afford the roof. I don't know if you need sunlight or what. You can put this outside. If I put this outside, am I still allowed to hold it? What the hell? <laughs> can people get to this? Potato. Four days. I... Okay. I don't know if this is going to break the game or not. At this point, I don't care. I'm putting this stuff out here and praying to God it works. Artichoke seeds. What the hell? Like, I want a couple of these. Just because. I like how they don't even hand you the money. They just toss it on the ground. Like, here you go, ho. I wonder if there's something that you can upgrade that gets the money for you. Because this is kind of a pain in the ass having to run around and grab it. Oh, there's a sprint button. I had no idea. Is there a jump as well? There is not. Oh, you can make a dress now? Okay, sure. This 90-year-old guy just bought that dress. I'm gonna go ahead and assume it's for maybe his daughter or something. Oh, damn, potato seeds on the cheap, y'all. You can totally harvest the potatoes outside of the area. That's incredible. God, it's like friggin' DDR, but like salesman style. I'm moving so much stuff around here. People are wanting cheese and crap now. I don't even know where the hell that stuff's at. Oh my God, appeal is the best. Look at how many friggin' people are in here. Like Scrooge McDuck, I have to run around here and swim in all my coins that are laying all over the place. How the hell did I get a piece of cheese? Did I buy this? I don't even remember buying this anymore. Oh, fantastic. My ability to make dresses leveled up somehow. Whatever. Oh my God. <laughs> There's just cash everywhere. There's so many friggin' people that come in this shop now. Oh, we're making freaking stacks. Oh my god, it's glorious. I'm gonna buy so many plants. You don't even know. I'm kind of making a, a, a hedge maze just to keep the appeal up because appeal is the most powerful thing in this entire game. All right, this place is turning into ghetto Costco over here. I've got so much crap. Look at how many people. <laughs> I'm throwing down bread loaves. I'm throwing down linens. I'm throwing down shoes and dresses and... And blow cane and cheese and all kinds of stuff. I don't have any artichoke, though. Oh, hell yes. You can make friggin' tools and weapons and stuff? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. When you harvest stuff, you get the plant and you get the seeds. So, effectively, you can do this forever. Oh, stacks. Oh, stacks. Oh, we're friggin' making stacks. Jesus, I'm about to trip over the, all the money I have in here. <laughs> It's like a working hazard. There's so many, there's so many coins on the ground. Oh, first world problems. I don't even know how people are moving around at this point. There's like so many people that come into this shop. Everyone's probably like pickpocketing each other and like sexually harassing one another. No one can do anything about it because there's, there's no space to walk around in. All these women want hammers. I'm assuming their husbands piss them all off. That's what goes on in this town. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of domestic violence that happens in this small city. We don't ask too many questions. Effectively, I'm above the law because I'm the one that provides all the murder weapons. Without me, no one's killing anyone. Oh yeah, the harvest is coming right a friggin' long here. We got, we got potatoes. We got artichoke. We're gonna be selling it all for big money. I can buy turf? What the hell is turf? Remove dress. Oh, because I'm on the freaking item. <laughs> uh, I thought it was something highly inappropriate. All right, ladies. I got a whole new line of head bashing hammers in for all of your husbandry needs. Where the hell did this cheese come from that's in my inventory? Am I like hiring adventurers to go out to get it or something? Because it's magically here and honestly, I don't know where the hell it came from. My god, I just made an orange magnificent tunic. I don't know if it gives people like a plus five to constitution or whatnot, but I assume it sells for more money. As I do this, I can't help but think that like when people come in, they're like, wow, this girl must love flowers. No, <laughs> I just love money. Oh, what's going on, y'all? Bread's half off. Actually, it's a little bit more than half off. Oh my god, I've created a real friggin' maze in order to get back to the, the forge. Did my hips get wider again? Can I not squeeze through this anymore? I learned something exciting today. If you can't get to your stuff while the shop is uh, open, you don't get to get to your stuff. This is like, this is like a shop where you can go inside and find like $800 in change on the ground. I have to ask real quick, in the comments section, what is the most money you've ever found on the ground before? I found a $20 bill one time, just laying on the ground. I think that was the most I ever found. You always want to make sure to water your plants because it makes them grow well and it also doesn't make them resent you. 
and want to kill you in your sleep. There is no rhyme or reason to anything in this shop. Like, it's one of those things where you could find a pair of headphones right next to a log of cheese or something. I just realized I said log of cheese. I'm not sure anyone has ever described cheese in that fashion. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, damn, you could change, like, one tile of floor if you want to. Now it just looks like I'm lazy. Whatever, that's just the repairs. Oh, God, it's facing a different direction from the normal pattern of the floor. Oh, God. If I put an archway here, can I go outside? Oh, you totally can. Oh, my God, I just meant to... <laughs> I just meant to extend this area a little bit, but it saves the floor type and the, the archways. Oh, whatever. I love it. It looks great. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. God, my shop is what OCD people see in their nightmares. Oh, hell yes. I got stained glass now. Uh, I'll put some of this over here. Oh my god, I clicked on the terracotta floor too. Yes, come in everyone. I have fresh brewed artichoke for sale. Everyone loves fresh brewed artichoke, you friggin' scumbags. Oh damn, we be selling asparagus now. I could craft pitchforks? Okay. Gotta keep those townspeople inappropriately accusing others of doing bad deeds and then, you know, burning them at the stake or whatever people with pitchforks. I guess they could, like, you know, legitimately do farm stuff, but I never see that in my own imagination. Oh, we make it pitchforks today, boys. It's like the saddest pitchfork I ever seen. It's like a two foot long pitchfork. That's, that's the pitchfork for people that really want to blow out their back. All right, here's the plan. We're going for big money today. I'm going to get as many materials set up as I can. Hold on. All right, everyone, get up in here. Gray's got freaking stacks and clothes on deck. It's going to be like a swap meet. Oh, yes. Here we go. The money's starting to flow, baby. It's the weirdest thing. I've got like all this food just sitting in the cupboard. I feel like that should, the food should probably be over here, but I really don't care at this point. Well, maybe I'll put an asparagus right next to the, I'm sorry, an artichoke right next to the shoes. Give it that lovely artichoke scent. Okay, that's pretty legit. We made a cool 1200 silver chunklets today. So yeah, I gotta tell you, we've officially become the Walmart of medieval times. I'm pretty happy about this. You would come into this shop and you would find everything you could possibly want and maybe get stabbed in the back. Hey, folks, hope you enjoyed Wankle G. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>